Hello YouTube. Okay, here is the new video. I will show how to make the mold for this part. This is not a car industry parts at all, but we have inquiry for it and we will produce it. So I will make it three or four mold because we have a big big amount of parts we need to, to do so it can be quicker. The mold will be made from professional tooling resin and parts and I will try to, to do it as much as everybody can do it in own garages and I will show the, the tricks that uh, nobody show on videos maybe help to make the mold for the f from the first time not to repeat it since every time when you repeat you probably damage the model so here we have some molds that we use in this this is the two-part mold for one roof spoiler also here we have the uh, side skirt side skirt for which car is this I don't remember and here we have side skirt mold also for one car so let's go and in first uh, first step you, you I will explain this this part is from 3d printed uh, the 3d printed part and his F is as you see he's he's the gloss blackie and uh, sorry my zoom is okay okay and um, uh, we prepare it till the gloss black black uh, and now we will apply nine or, eight or ten layer of this uh, release wax and I will show you I will show you how to 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 put that release wax I personally use two cloth one every time you use uh, the clean one and this is ordinary cloth but this one is I don't know what kind of material is this but it's it clean works very well so I use always the same okay so I, I have already applied nine layers so this one will be the last one and I will show you how to apply his this is this process is like your polishing or something you see so you put it thin wax here and you polish it in the material and since it's the first time we are applying a release agent it's necessary to put minimal eight layer or I put ten layer after this, I will clean it. This board is the also less uh, glossy sorry so this I don't need to put the walls if you like it you can put some but uh, after this we will go with the PLA release agent so this will ensure that the mold will not stick with the part or with this board is for the flange, the flange flange. Okay. Now we'll leave it for three minutes. And then Then we will go and clean. You see, with this one, it's very hard to clean the walls. But this one, 
clean pretty fast, you see? See? And here you must clean all the walks that you have put like you're polishing it. If your cloth is dirty, change it with another one, but you need to remove all walks from the part. box uh, now you see this many many people make mistake with this part here if you see it's uh, it seems like it's uh, stick it to this board but uh, if you don't fill this this uh, hole that is not you can even see but yes here is a one small small gap that if you don't fill it you will have a problem when you're releasing the part from the from the mold and probably will damage even the model or you will damage the 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 mold so here is this yellow wax and this yellow wax is very hard to find in Croatia so i ordered it from england from easy components and uh, it's uh, the best thing for this I, I use or I can find in market and uh, I will show how I will apply a little bit of this wax in all around this this part so I can remove it from the mold without damaging all mold or the model okay I use these tools so I can clean this surface when I put in this wax. This wax is reusable so you can use it on many projects when you unplug it, when you remove it from the, from the mold and then you can save it and use it from another place. So when you are doing this, this uh, yellow wax it's softer and then you see it's very easy to put on that little areas inside the mold inside the model and the board After we put this yellow box, if you can see Spray the one layer and uh, after half of hour I will spray the second layer after that we will proceed with tooling gel coat for for molds this 
So this is it. This is the first hand. I would leave it half of power. This is alcoholic base, so it will be dry in half of hour and then I will apply another one, another layer. After that I will put the gel glue. After the PVA, two layers of PVA is full cured. We will proceed with the tooling gel coat. You see, I have put 200 ml and I will add, I will add 2% of catalyst or in some cases you need to put 1% or 2%. So in this case I will put 1.5% because here is 25 degrees in the room temperature and um, I will have uh, longer working time. The working time for this gel coat with 1.5% is approximately 10 minutes and uh, you need to finish all part in that 10 minutes. So you need to hurry. It's very important to mix the gel coat and the, the, the second part uh, to mix thoroughly because uh, if you don't mix it good, you will have uh, you will not have uh, cured the gel coat on the on the surface. Okay, now our last. Uh, 1.5% so that is to mix it but I personally like to wash the block and mix it 3 minutes after 3 minutes this gel coat will be mixed very good After a while, approximately two hours, two hours and a half, the process is in stage that we can continue. So you see, it leaves marks here, but there is nothing on finger. This show you that you can proceed with second layer of uh, tooling gel coat. So this is the same procedure as before.
So after we put the second gel coat layer, now in this model of uh, part, this is this model. I I find that this I think that this part here is a problematic uh, point because um, there is a small angle here and probably when we put the mate you cannot put it inside in this hole to stay like this 99% this will go up and make like this and here we will have air air pocket and then the mold will not be completely uh, the, the mold will not be good in this kind of spots I put filler I put filler and I fill this gap so I have straight line when I put the, the mate and so now I will put all around this, this little angle I will put the filler to fill this this gap so I can avoid to have a air pocket inside this in case that you have this angle here much bigger that's not problem in that case it's not so problem to put the mate and to laminate it but in this in this uh, part that it has a small uh, angle I prefer to put the filler so this is the edge that I filled it I fill with the uh, filler and now I will have no place where the air will trap and uh, make problems see so after we make this uh, uh, this uh, edge here we will start with two layers with the vinyl ester resin uh, this is uh, to protect this surface this gel coat from another step that we will do so I will fertilize this with 2% and uh, I will mix it I will also mix approximately 2 minutes This is over, so we put two two layer of mat with um, vinyl ester resin, and uh, this part is very important, so it's uh, good to to roll her out with the roller, and uh, you see here I have many rollers that I use depending on the job I need to do so this part is important because if uh, the air trap under the laminate and um, uh, between laminate and the gel coat probably after 
one or two parts you pull out from the mold it will crack you will need to repair the mold after this one we will go with five layers uh, with um, mold tooling resin and uh, in this product I will not make post curing because I'm trying to do it as much as everybody can do it on garage so I will, I will make it without post curing now we will proceed with uh, tooling resin now we will put uh, four layer with this tool and resin and uh, one layer will go with this woven cloth okay this this uh, resin we mix uh, with one percent catalyst you must read your manual when you're using maybe your resin need some other mixing ratio
okay this is the finished mold so let's repeat we put two layer of tooling gel coat then we put two layer of uh, vinyl ester resin and 350 mate after that uh, we put four layer of uh, 350 mate and um, tooling resin after that we put one layer in the top of this 600 woven cloth to finish the surface and to give the strength even though this is not necessary but uh, it is good if you have it uh, because we will not do post curing process because this process I want to show so everybody can do it in own garage I will leave it today to stay in this shape and then I will demold this uh, product, this mold okay after after it's completely dry this stay uh, two days, so 48 hours in this shape. Now we will demold it and see. This go like this. So we have the perfect mold. And you see, this is the yellow wax that we had on these edges. So probably without this wax, the gel coat go inside the, this gap, and you will not be able to pull out. Now we will trim this part and we have the first mold for it, okay, very good.